But today we're looking at a 89 Chevy Astro. Um, this thing has a issue where the vehicle does not want to start after um, it's been driven a little bit. So once it's heat soaked a bit, you drive it, um, it starts up okay in the morning. Um, but then what ends up happening is once you drive it a little while, you go to the supermarket, you stop and you try and um, start it again. It'll just crank over and over and over and over again and it will not start. So on these vehicles, um, there's actually a very common issue with the TBI. TBI being the throttle body injection system. And typically the culprit is um, the distributor itself. The module goes bad. And what happens is, as your um, the sensor inside, as it's spinning around, uh, picking up that signal, um, it's, it allows the injector to do its job and actually shoot fuel into the carb or the, directly to the throttle body. In, in this case, um, but I also found something else that might be uh, relevant. So this might have your fix if uh, you are like struggling with it and you're trying to see why you're not able to uh, start even after you've replaced a bunch of stuff distributor um, maybe even uh, got a new uh, you know you, you rebuilt or, or replaced your throttle body so this is something else that I came across and I kind of figured out um, the owner of the vehicle is kind of a backyard mechanic himself. He likes to do his own work. Um, so he, he did a bunch of things. He replaced uh, the fuel uh, regulator. So that's what sends back fuel when it's uh, when it sends it back to the tank if it's um, uh, to maintain the proper fuel pressure. Um, I guess not at the rail at this at this vehicle because it doesn't really have a rail. It has more of a line. And uh, the, the fuel is directly uh, connected to the assembly here. Um, injected directly to the assembly. So, so uh, to make a, story, a long story short, um, I'm pretty sure that in this vehicle, it's not the distributor module itself. It's actually going to be its buddy here. The oil uh, uh, pressure sensor. Um, this one goes to the computer Anyway, so what happens is It has poor connection um, I, The wires are not frayed or broken or anything even though they are a little tangled um, But the pigtail itself is missing its clip And uh, they, are, they are a little twisted but so what I found out is that if this thing is not giving you proper connection, that will out, that will also um, cause the injectors not to open. Now the funny thing is that when I checked it, I put a uh, Noid light on uh, on this plug here, and I cranked the engine, and it's weird because I was getting signal. I was getting flashing from the Noid light. Uh, the noise light was flashing on both of them actually and but it wasn't shooting fuel and I think what's happening was that it wasn't given enough uh, of a pulse it was given a pulse enough to flash the noise light but not enough to open the injector um, so of what I was just talking about run out of memory real quick anyway so uh, this is the oil pressure switch um, and it seems like if this is loose uh, you will not get fuel for some reason so uh, it's been sitting here for a little while I got cooled down a little bit but I'm gonna see if I can get it to crank over without starting so I can demonstrate what the issue what issues can be caused if that oil sensor is not plugged in right or if maybe the sensor itself is no longer working properly. So let me show you here. Okay, 
So you might have that similar issue where it just cranks and cranks and cranks. Here's another thing that you might come across. You probably put some brake cleaner or something in there and then crank it. And then it actually works. And then you try to do it again. And nothing, right? Check this out. If I wiggle this enough, just press it in deep. We'll see if that works. Oh, I might need both hands for this one. But essentially, if you're cranking it and then wiggle this wire and get the right connection, it'll start right up. And let's see if I can put you down somewhere so you can get a good angle. So, I didn't even use a spray. The spray was there the entire time. So, I'm pretty confident that this has something to do with it also. Uh, um, the oil pressure, uh, keep forgetting what it's called. Oil pressure send, sender? I don't think it's a sender. It might be a sender, I don't remember. But that's what it looks like. It's right next to the distributor. Now these vehicles run from like 85 to like 95. Uh, they use the TBI injection and all of those uh, Chevys. Um, I think Suburban Tahoe's might have done that also. So they put a bunch of these in a bunch of vehicles, a bunch of their Chevy line, uh, like trucks and vans and that kind of stuff. Uh, S10s I think. And so I wish I could show you the jet as I'm like wiggling this thing and I'm like finding um, you can see it starts to shoot fuel unfortunately I can't hold the phone or I don't have a stand as always uh, to uh, show you the the full process here because um, then I also need to crank the key and I, I can't do all three so but I think you got a, a shot of me wiggling this thing and then actually coming on and you can visually see it's starting to spray. If you take off the filter, housing and all that stuff, you'll be able to see the, the fuel start shooting. If you just get a really good connection. Now, let's see if I can do it like this. Press it in and get it in there. Let's see if I can show you. I'm gonna see if I can wiggle it with my foot without breaking the sensor and then see if you can get a good look. And keeping in mind that the can is right there, I'm not even using that. Yeah, I used my foot to wiggle it. It actually came on. Now the funny thing is if you unplug it, this, the oil sensor, it'll actually kill the engine. So, there you go. If you didn't know that, that this circuit has something to do with it and you were breaking your your freaking head trying to figure this thing out and you're just spending parts money on parts 
well there you go this can also be your issue so i mean of, of course always check wiring and everything especially in these older vehicles but it seems like the wiring this one's been pretty good and it's a pretty old car so uh definitely gonna replace the pigtail on this also put a new one um but yeah so check your pressure switch uh, oil pressure switch that's what it's called oil pressure switch distributor module or replace the whole thing is better and then um and then check your throttle body and make sure that's all in good shape no leaks none of that stuff though on this one doesn't have a uh, mass airflow sensor so you might not have a big issue on leaks but um, check everything you, you want your car to be solid so that's what i gotta share with you for now and thanks for watching